Operation and use of a baby incubator involve careful attention to maintaining a controlled and supportive environment for premature or ill newborns. Here are the basic steps and key considerations for working with a baby incubator. Preparing the incubator. Ensure that the incubator is clean and sterile before use. Set the temperature and humidity levels according to the specific needs of the infant. Check that all monitoring equipment and alarms are functional. Placing the infant inside. Gently place the baby in the incubator, taking care to position them comfortably and securely. Connect any necessary monitoring devices to track vital signs. Temperature control monitor and adjust the incubator temperature as needed to maintain the infant's body temperature within the normal range. Ensure that the baby is appropriately dressed or covered to prevent heat loss. Humidity control. Adjust the humidity settings to prevent dehydration, especially for very small or premature infants. Regularly check the baby's skin for signs of excessive dryness or moisture. Oxygen supply. If necessary, provide a controlled supply of oxygen to support the baby's respiratory needs. Monitor oxygen levels using the built-in sensors and adjust as required. Monitoring vital signs. Regularly check and record the infant's heart rate, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. Respond promptly to any alarms indicating abnormalities in vital signs. Infection prevention. Maintain a sterile environment within the incubator. Adhere to strict hygiene protocols when handling the infant and performing medical procedures. Access for medical care. Design the layout inside the incubator to allow easy access for medical examinations and treatments. Minimize disturbances to the infant while providing necessary care. Sound and light control. Adjust the lighting conditions within the incubator to minimize the baby's exposure to bright light. Keep noise levels in the surrounding environment low to promote a calm atmosphere. Regular checks and documentation. Perform regular visual checks of the infant's condition. Document vital signs, interventions, and any changes in the baby's status. Communication with healthcare team. Communicate effectively with the healthcare team to ensure coordinated care for the infant. Share relevant information and observations to facilitate appropriate adjustments to the incubator environment. Parental involvement. Encourage parental involvement and provide education on how to interact with their baby within the incubator. Discontinuation of incubator use. Gradually transition the infant out of the incubator once they are stable and able to maintain body temperature on their own. Overall, the proper use of a baby incubator requires attention to detail, adherence to protocols and collaboration among healthcare professionals to optimize the care and development of premature or ill newborns. The 